Hello, this is Paul Wadsworth, and in today's video, I wanted to pay tribute to the legend Bob Proctor. You may or may have not heard that recently Bob passed away, and Bob has had a significant impact on thousands of people all over the world, and he's definitely had a huge impact on my life. If it wasn't for Bob, I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't have moved to another country, started my own business, created multiple streams of income. All of this has happened and all of the mindset and the confidence and the self-belief through Bob's teachings. And I wanted to share with you today 15 life lessons that Bob has taught me. And in this video, I'm going to share many resources of Bob's, the books that he has, some free playlists on YouTube that you can listen to, and some programs that have personally helped me transform my life and any other book recommendations, all of the information I reference in this, I'll leave it in the description below where you can check that out if you wish to. One of the first things that really stands out with me with Bob Proctor is the quote that he used to share, and it's that if you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. Now this is a really empowering place to be, and it goes along with many of the great thought leaders' work, such as Wallace D. Wattles in The Science of Getting Rich, where he talks about this thinking stuff from which all things are made. So regardless of where you're currently at in your life, you have your imagination, you can think and create the life you want. You're a creative being. And the next thing on the list would be creating a big vision for your life. Now I remember Bob saying to me on a call once, he said, Paul, forget all of your current circumstances, your family, your friends, and all of the stuff that's in your present reality, and spend some time to get creative and think what would excite you, what visions you have for your life, what do you truly want, removing all of the limitations. Because this is really the foundation and the first step for creating the life you want. You have to have a vision. You have to know where you're going. And with your vision, you also want to look again at purpose. And Bob always says, find out what you love to do and dedicate your life to it. He also suggested that many people would get this wrong with work. And they might say, well, I love to paint or I love to play music or I love to do something else. But there's no money to be made in that. Well, this isn't actually true, and the whole idea of going to work should be related to your purpose. You're going because you love to do it. And he also said that going to work is the worst way to earn money. You can set up multiple streams of income, and when you follow the universal laws of providing service, you can create income throughout that. It's not necessarily about going to work, but most people exchange their time for money. And I've personally earned thousands of dollars online through passive income, making money when I go to sleep. This isn't the main thing I do. I spend my time living my passion and I'm still growing and I've got a long way to go. But the idea that you go to a job and you come home and when you're not working you don't make money is kind of ridiculous because you're always going to struggle financially. But that's how most people live. That's how most people are taught to live. Another great lesson I learned from Bob is the idea of studying every day, whether it's 30 minutes or an hour in the morning before you get on with your day, because studying is the easiest way to expand your conscious awareness. And I made a video in the past where I talk about the seven levels of awareness, which I also learned from Bob Proctor, so I'll leave a link so you can click on that video and check that one out. But a great example of this that Bob always used to talk about was a person doesn't earn $50,000 a year because that's what they want to earn. It's because they don't know, they're not aware of how to make $50,000 per month. So when you increase your awareness and you increase that ability to serve more people, to do more and to create more opportunities, that is really the key. And studying is the easiest way to increase your awareness. The only thing that matters is your desire for it. You see, many people get stuck in their life because they start thinking of all of the reasons why they can't do something, why they can't have something. I don't have enough money. I'm not qualified enough. I don't have the time. You see, when you change that switch and you start seeking the reasons of why you want something and you really get clear on the desire, Bob taught me that the desire is the only thing that truly matters because when you take a leap forward and move into that, the way will be revealed as you do so. And this actually happened with me on one of Bob's programs years ago, I was earning less than a thousand pounds a month in England, and one of his programs was quite expensive for me at the time. I think I got a loan out to invest in it, and it was very scary, and I, you know, I didn't know what to expect. I'd never invested in anything like that before. And on the program, I was fortunate enough to have a conversation with Bob, and I think he was kind of impressed and maybe a little bit shocked that I'd invested my money based on my income. 
And after the program had finished, I actually got an email from his team where he had invited me onto his 13 month coaching program free of charge. And this was a great example of this in practice. I got scared on something, I moved forward anyway, I took the action and then the way was revealed because that 13 month coaching program was really the foundation which transformed my life. Next on the list, and Bob has spoken about this many times, and there's even a chapter dedicated to this in Think and Grow Rich, which is decision. The ability to make a decision quickly and to rarely change your mind. But many people don't make a decision because they fear of getting it wrong. But if you have the ability to just make a decision and go with it, you will get so much further ahead in your life. And you can always change it later down the line. If things change, you have new desires, you feel inspired to do something else, you can make another decision, but making decisions quickly is gonna help you along the way. And a concept which Bob taught me, which I, at the time I didn't really know too much about, was paradigms. And essentially, a paradigm is a multitude of habits. It's an unconscious set of programs that we're living on. And a paradigm really controls your life. There might be times in your life where you feel like you know what to do on a certain thing, but then you say, why am I not doing it? And it's because your paradigms are controlling you. And the way to change your paradigms is to get emotionally involved in an idea and then we look at the power of repetition to go through that to really start to create lasting change. You see, you've got to get it into the subconscious mind because this is what's going to control you, this is what's going to dictate the way you live your life and the things that you achieve in your life. You must get it into a deep level to change your paradigms. And the power of repetition in itself was another lesson that I learned from Bob. I remember early on I'd listen to many of his things or watch his videos and I used to think, why is he showing the same stuff all of the time? And very quickly I realized the power of repetition is truly the key to change. And Maxwell Maltz in his book Psycho-Cybernetics also talks about the power of repetition for lasting change. You see, when you're listening to a book or reading a book, you'll go through part of it and then you might get an idea and then your brain wanders off and you kind of get distracted on the book. Because you've got a new idea or some inspiration that's taken you on a different path. When you go over that the next time, the chances of you having that in the same area are less likely, so you're going to get new information from the book. And Bob has a quote around this, and he said, if you read a book for the second time, you don't see something that wasn't in it before, you see something in yourself that wasn't there before. Additionally, the power of repetition happens because you have to repeatedly do something, because if you think back to your childhood, where your belief patterns get formed and how you're influenced, you start hearing ideas and these don't just happen once or twice, it's the repetition that builds that. It believes the belief systems, it believes the unconscious patterns. So repetition is really the key to changing. And we couldn't have a video about Bob Proctor where we don't talk about goals. Bob really inspired me to go for bigger things in life, to not settle and to not set goals that aren't really fulfilling and meaningful. And Bob always spoke about type C goals. And a type C goal is a goal that stretches you, it's exciting, but you also don't know how to do it. You see, you wanna be going after things that are gonna give you a reason to get out of bed in the morning. You don't wanna play it small in life. So it's important to set huge goals, something that is meaningful and true to you. It's important that we respect the universal laws. People don't argue with many laws in life, such as the law of gravity. If you were to fall out of a plane, everyone knows what's gonna happen, we don't question that. And we understand that it takes nine months for a baby to be born. So people don't question some of these laws. It takes time for plants to grow, for fruit to grow from the trees, etc. But when it comes to other laws in life, there seems to be a bit more confusion or lack of clarity around certain things. For example, Bob shared with me that the law of compensation states that the amount of money you can earn or the good you can receive will be in direct ratio to these three things. The need for what you do, your ability to do it, and the difficulty there is in replacing you. He also taught me about the law of attraction and the law of vibration. Many of you will know about the law of attraction from the famous book and movie, The Secret. This is actually where I first came across Bob and then felt inspired to follow his path and learn from him. And Bob has a famous book called You Were Born Rich. I love this concept. There's actually a free seminar on YouTube where you can watch this. It's quite old, but there's so much gold in it. I've been through it several times. I'll leave a link in the description where you can watch that playlist whenever you get the time. Now, this idea of you were born rich, it's not that you wake up in the morning and you've got banknotes falling from the sky. It's that everyone is born with the richness and potential. We all have the same abilities. We all have the same mental power and resources to create the lives that we want to live. And this is so empowering because it doesn't matter where you've been, where you are now, 
you all have the power to change your life. And Bob really helped me with this because I was at a time in my life where I felt stuck, lost, and I had no idea where to go or how to change it. And you see, one of the key differences between humans and animals is that we have mental faculties. The six mental faculties that Bob shared with me in depth, and he has a really good program on this, which I highly recommend. And again, I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check that out. But the six mental faculties are perception, imagination, intuition, memory, reason, and will. These mental faculties are truly powerful tools that will enable you to create the life of your dreams. And Bob has a program that goes into more depth on this called Magic in Your Mind. I highly recommend it and I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check that out. One of the absolute most important things that you can do to change your life is to change your self-image. And again, Maxwell Maltz in his book psycho talks about this. He was a plastic surgeon and he found out that some people when they had the surgery, they felt a lot better about themselves, but there were other people who actually didn't. And this came to the idea of this self-image that we have an internal vision or image of how we see ourselves. And this affects all areas of life. You can't have success, happiness, fulfillment, and all of these things and confidence if you don't see yourself as those. And the only person who can change that is you. So I'd highly recommend checking out that book as well. But changing your self-image is gonna be key for you to have lasting change in your life. And then lastly, surrounding yourself with greatness. Now, I'm sure if you're someone that wants to improve your life, there's gonna be some friendships, there's gonna be some people in your life that aren't really helping you to grow, they're not pushing you forwards. So it's important for you to find the right people who can support you. And I'm not saying you have to cut out these other people, but look to add to your circle and to be around people that are like-minded, that wanna grow, people that are already above you, and look for coaches and mentors and people that can support you moving forward in your journey. Investing in yourself is one of the greatest things that you can do with your time and money and it will speed up your journey, which will essentially give you more time to get to where you wanna be and to live the life that you truly wanna live. Now, I've personally really enjoyed sharing these lessons with you because I got to go back over the stuff and the things that Bob taught me that tremendously helped me in my life. But I continue to study Bob's work and I will do for a very long time because he's taught me so much. The man has so much wisdom. And I'd love for you to share in the comments below some of the key lessons that Bob has taught you what were the ones in this video that stood out for you? And share any thoughts you have. I really appreciate you watching. If you're new around here, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications and maybe share it with someone else or leave a comment. So thank you so much and I'll see you next time.